Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. New videos are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. Of course, check out Shop Lifestyle, get yourself some lifestyle merch. But today guys, I'm gonna be going over the common problems with the Jeep, or at least common ones that uh, I've heard of or seen a lot in different Jeep forums and groups and stuff like that. So we're gonna go over those as a POV drive as uh, I feel like that's the best way to do it. That way you kind of experience driving the Jeep because most likely if you're watching this, you're looking into buying a Jeep or something like that. So uh, overall, I will say it's a great car at least in my experience so far I haven't had that many issues um, I'll touch on the few that I have had at the beginning uh, when I start driving and then we'll talk about the rest of them as we go but uh, yeah I've seen a lot of kind of minor common problems and uh, yeah there's some major ones obviously but uh, you know, for the most part, get a warranty on any vehicle you buy, if you buy it new or used. Especially with the Jeeps, you can get the max care warranty, so that's always a good one and a good thing that you guys should grab. So uh, let's just go ahead and hop in and go for a drive and talk about those now. All right, so as we get going here, I, uh, I have, like I said, I'm gonna start with my my few common issues that I've had personally, and then we will uh, we'll talk about some of the issues that I've seen a lot of other people having. Um, I'm not sure what these guys are doing over here. They got like a, a weather machine or they're doing something, I assume with uh, the weather. Anyway, so the common issues that I've had are very, very minor in my Jeep so far. And if I had some wood, I would knock on it because I hope that it stays that way. Um, basically, the few issues that I've had personally were not really major issues at all. Uh, main thing is gonna be the filler neck, which is actually one, probably one of the most common issues. And it's actually an issue on a lot of vehicles, not just the Jeep, but uh, a lot of newer vehicles that have the capless fill up. Uh, basically, you stick the filler, or you stick the nozzle for the gas into the filler neck there to pump your gas, and it just clicks off every single time. I've mentioned this a bunch of times here on the channel, but yeah, that's basically what it is, and that was the first issue that I had with it. Um, I brought it back, they said they blew it out with a compressor to blow out debris or something in there. It did nothing, nothing changed any differently, so I just flipped the, the nozzle upside down and it's fine. It's not that big of an issue at all, and uh, for the most part, like I said, it's, it's fine for me. Now that's the only real issue that I've had, like actually like that. Um, the other issue that I had was not that big of a deal at all, and that was just my Uconnect screen, which there is a lot of common issues with this Uconnect screen, which is very unfortunate because it's a nice screen and you know, I mean, it's it's decent. So it has a few issues and a few little quirks that can happen with it. Uh, for me, in my case, my issue was that the Uconnect screen was just blank. It was just a black screen. Um, I've seen this as a common issue that can happen in both a green screen, a blue screen, uh, just basic like computer issues that you can have with it. Um, fortunately for me, when I got the issue, all it was was that I needed to uh, disconnect the battery and reconnect it and fully reset it. Um, in some cases, you can just have to press a couple buttons on here and reset that. Um, if you know how to do that, then you can go ahead and look that up. Uh, if you don't, uh, it's on Google. There's plenty of articles and stuff on how to reset these Uconnect screens. Um, but like I said, it, that was my issue. And luckily for me, that's all it was and that's all I needed to do to reset it. But like I said, two very minor issues that were not a very big deal at all. And all I had to do was just disconnect the battery for like a half hour, reconnect it, it fully reset the screen and it's been fine ever since. Again, knock on wood, I haven't had any other issues. I feel like I might have some other issues coming up, um, but for now that's all that I have. Uh, but like I said, that's like one of the issues and uh, yeah, it's fine now and I haven't had any issues with it. But when I did have that issue, it was super frustrating because my backup camera didn't work and nothing else with it worked. So uh, yeah, it's fine now and hopefully it stays that way. One of the unfortunate things with the Uconnect like that, if it does break, like if your whole screen breaks like that and you cannot get it to reset after doing a reboot with the battery or anything like that, uh, it's very unfortunate, but you're gonna have to replace the whole thing and to replace it is not cheap. I wanna say it's over a thousand dollars just to replace the Uconnect screen, which definitely sucks because nobody wants to be paying over a thousand dollars for a Uconnect screen, especially if it's on a newer vehicle. Uh, like that you know you know you don't want to be replacing that and that sucks if that happens but that's kind of your end-all solution if it obviously is not able to be fixed any other way such as like I said disconnecting the battery or doing a soft reset on it so uh, just be aware of that when you're buying it now the next thing that I've heard the most issues about pretty much across the board is going to be the quadra lift or whatever it is suspension uh, and that's where you have the suspension that can go up and down kind of like air lift type of suspension built in uh, because I've heard a lot of issues with that, uh, just with the compressor going, uh, just different things like different parts on it going and like links and stuff like that. So 
Uh, like I said, be aware of that if you are getting one that does have that uh, suspension system set up where uh, on my altitude here, I don't have that, which I think I'm kind of lucky about because I've heard one good comment and probably a hundred or so bad comments about it. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely kind of happy about that, but that's one thing to definitely look out for that there has been a lot of issues and there's quite a few common problems with. But again, just like any of these, it's not like, uh, okay, if you buy this car for sure at this amount of miles, this is gonna go wrong, or this is gonna go wrong, or this is gonna go wrong. You know, things happen and things change and some stuff's gonna break and some stuff's not. You know what I mean? It's very, it's gonna vary depending on which car you have, which model and how you're driving it and just stuff like that. Now, another one that I've heard a lot of issues and a lot of complaints about is people People posting saying that their heat or their AC went out or their heat went out or just stuff with that and uh, that's gonna be the blend door actuator uh, so your blend door is gonna be that like changes from like hot air and cold air and stuff like that basically it's with your whole like air conditioning and heating system uh, so yeah the blend door is a super common issue on these I've seen so many people posting about it and every single time they end up coming back and saying that it was a blend door issue that they have uh, they got fixed or they replaced the blend door or the blend door actuator whatever it is uh, that's causing the issue and then they go ahead and fix it and then it's fine but a lot of people are having those issues and I've also seen people replace them and then continue to have the issue again after so uh, I would say that's definitely a common problem now like I was saying with the Uconnect that's like a big one that I've seen a lot of different stuff and obviously tied into that is your backup camera. With the backup camera, I have seen quite a bit of complaints as well with people showing pictures where their backup camera is just like all glitched out and just has like all kinds of weird funky stuff going on. And I guess that could just be like an electrical issue where the wiring could have got somehow messed up or something like that. But I've definitely seen a lot of people complaining about things like that with the backup camera and just the Uconnect in general has caused a lot of issues. Like I said, personally, I only had that one issue where it wouldn't come on and it was just a blank screen, uh, but I had no way to access the screen or anything like that. So that was uh, kind of an annoying thing to have happen. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what issues you guys have had on your Jeeps and how many miles you have or how long you've owned it, kind of stuff like that, so that we can kind of, you know, get some more ideas of some other common issues and see if anyone else has the same issues and stuff like that. Because I want, I want this comment section on this video to be a place that someone who's coming to watch this video might be interested in buying a Jeep Grand Cherokee, a WK2, and uh, they might be looking for the common issues and the common problems and things to look out for in that kind of situation and stuff like that. Now, also on that note, uh, pre-2015, so 2015 and before, there was a lot, a lot of issues with the uh, TIPM, which is just like the totally integrated power module or something like that. Uh, and basically all that is, is basically like the, there's like a brain in the computer in a way, basically where all of the power gets routed to and then that routes the power out. So if your fuel pump needs to kick on, if anything like that needs to kick on or your windows need, you activate your windows to go down, it's all coming through there at the start. So you want to make sure that that's working obviously, because that's kind of like your main flow. Uh, but there's been a lot a lot of issues with that in the past there was a lot a lot of issues with that in the 2015 and before uh, but after that they kind of figured it out and figured out what was wrong and how to fix it so it's not too big of an issue anymore i don't think but i know pre 2015 and before there was a lot of common issues with that now some issues with that is like the fuel pump not turning off and then it burns out your fuel pump uh, that was one that was a common issue that caused the uh, the manufacturer to kind of have to keep an eye on it and basically say that the 2015 and before had a lot of issues with that system. Uh, there's things with like the airbags either not deploying or deploying randomly, I guess, which that would suck if you're just driving down the street and all of a sudden your airbag just kicks in your face uh, for no reason, you know, stalling issues, different stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of different things that could happen, like common issues with that, but it was all based on that one system. Uh, so if you are going after the 2015 model or before then you may have that issue now The last thing I want to say on this video is one more issue that's common So if you guys have the leather dashboard, I don't I'm pretty sure this ain't this ain't leather But uh, if you guys have the one with the leather dashboard, then there's been known to have like cracking peeling and like breaking basically in the leather so uh, that's one thing to look out for if you are looking at a model that has the uh, leather dashboard because it does seem that there is quite a bit of issues with that and uh, you know maybe tint can help kind of get you that UV protection on it and using some different like leather UV protectant products might help but uh, yeah it is a common issue on the Jeeps that have the uh, 
that have the leather dashboards. I think for the most part, that's gonna be all of the different things that I personally have seen a lot of complaints about and a lot of issues that people have had, uh, just kind of in different groups and stuff that I am in and that I've seen and looked up and stuff like that. For the most part, that's what I've seen to be the most common of issues. Now, I do wanna say, like I said, leave down in the comment section down below and let me know which ones you guys have seen, which issues you guys have had personally, and if there are any other issues that you guys have heard of a lot as uh, common issues and things to look out for. Just kind of help out other people and uh, make sure that everyone is, you know, kind of aware of the things that can go wrong. But I think that's going to be about it for this video, guys. So let's go ahead and roll the outro now. If you did enjoy the video or you got any information out of it, make sure you smash that like button down below right now. Help the YouTube algorithm help this video out to more people and, of course, help the channel grow. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. New videos are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. Of course, check out Shop Lifestyle. Get yourself some lifestyle merch. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.